Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey guys, Jake Ludington here, and as you've already heard, Go to Manage from Citrix is one of our sponsors right now, and you can of course sign up for free with the coupon code Perillo45, which will allow you to do uh, what I'm just about to do right now. And what I'm going to do is, I just got a call from Kelly, and she's back at the office, and she's having problems printing. And I'm at a coffee shop right now. It's a little noisy. That's why you can hear the noise in the background. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to sign in from my computer from from the. Uh, coffee shop so I don't have to go back to the office and see if I can troubleshoot her printing problem. I think what happened is that somehow the printer got disconnected uh, when she rebooted. And I'm going to figure out if I can fix it using GoToManage, which connects me directly through my computer to her computer and lets me troubleshoot virtually anything. So I signed into the Locker Gnome GoToManage account. You can see we've got a couple of uh, unattended remote support computers. So this one that's called Media Center PC is the one that Kelly is currently trying to print from. So I'm going to click Connect. All right, you can see that the go to assist uh, console is launched, which is the go to manage remote assist function. And because it wasn't signed in, I'll have to view unattended computers here and sign in again. Okay, and it tells me that you have a stored password for media center PC slash the user Kelly. And that's convenient because that way I don't have to worry about whether or not she is right there waiting for me to help her. I can just go ahead and, and log in. So I click that login, and that's that's one of the cool things about this app is it captures logins, so that um, for computers that you control on a network, you can you can actually provide them help right away. And now that I'm over here, I'm gonna go to the Start menu, and of course go to Devices and Printers. And it looks like right now, um, actually the screen capture program Snagit is currently the default printer, which I'm sure she doesn't want. And I don't see there's an HP printer that should be the default printer and it's not in this list down here, printers and faxes. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a printer. And if, uh, if you're watching this and wanting to add a printer from your own uh, home network, this would be the same procedure that you would use. And click Add a Network Wireless or Bluetooth Printer because it's uh, a network printer that, that we're gonna look for. And this PhotoSmart D5300 is the printer that's connected to another computer there in the office that pretty much acts as a, a print server. So I'm going to choose that, and click Next. And it's going to take a second for it to configure. And again, I, I apologize for this uh, the background noise, but I'm, I'm here in a coffee shop providing remote assistance using GoToManage. And it tells me that I've successfully connected the printer. And I'm going to go ahead and print a test page just to see if it errors out, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it won't. Test page has been sent to the printer. And you can see here now, the HP PhotoSmart 5300 series um, that's connected to the computer Jake Think M is the uh, now correctly configured printer. So that's how simple it was. I'm at a coffee shop. Uh, the problem with the computer is back at my office. And because I have GoToManage installed on the computer set up for unattended support, I can provide the support without having to have a phone conversation or anything else to solve the problem and now I can go back to uh, the conversation that I was having at the coffee shop. And of course, if you want to try out GoToManage for your organization, you can do it simply by going to gotomanage.com and we have a coupon code Perillo45 that gives you a 45 day free trial to try out these um, remote assistance features as well as a bunch of awesome monitoring features. So I could configure something like, um, I'm not sure if I can do it for that particular printer, but if I had a network printer, I would be able to set up something by like getting a notification if there was a paper jam or if the printer was out of paper, um, among other things. So uh, a lot of great information that you can get about lots of devices on your network using GoToManage.